Morning class all. I'm here in my kitchen and I've had an idea for an experiment. So I've got some flowers here. Now these are flowers from the supermarket, so they'd already been cut at the bottom. They haven't got roots anymore and they're not growing in the ground. So they were just going to stay in my vase for a little bit. But I've decided to cut one off, just like this. And it's got lovely white petals. And I've had an idea. I've got a tiny little vase here. I'm going to use to put my flower in so it definitely has water but I want to see where the water goes now you can't oops, you can't usually tell because water is clear um, but I think water travels up the stem to get to the petals and the flower but I thought of a way that I can sort of trace it I wonder if you know what this is red it's red food coloring and i'm going to put a couple of drops into this little vase to turn the water red that way we can see it a bit better then i'm going to leave it for a few days and then we're going to see what happens to the flower so as i put a little bit in here say a little bit oh that looks cool that's a lot i'm going to use the stem to mix it there we go Right, and I'm going to leave the flower in there for a few days. Uh, and in the meantime, I was wondering if you can make a prediction, so a clever guess of what you think is going to happen next. Maybe you don't think anything will happen. Maybe you think the flower won't like it and it might die instead because it's not like the water it normally gets. I don't want to give you too many more ideas, but have a little think. What do you think is going to happen? Make a prediction. If you're feeling really clever, you could write down what you think is going to happen and send it to me. But um, yeah, in a few days time, I will make another video and show you what happened.